Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about solve problems involving the volume of square permit. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, I will give you three examples class for you to really understand this one. And this will be our formula in finding the volume of square permit. We have the volume of square permit is equal to one-third area of the base times height. Once again, class, this capital B stands for the area of the base. Or you can use the second formula, that would be the volume of square per mid is equal to one-third S squared times height. So this S stands for the base edge or the base side. Once again, class, if you have given area of the base and you have given height, use the first formula. If you have given base side or base edge and then the height, use the second formula. So let's have example number one, class, to apply this formula. Mario received a gift from his parents. The package of the gift is in the form of a square pyramid. The base edge of the pyramid is 20 centimeters, while its height is 8 centimeters. Find the volume of the package of the gift. So once again, class, if you're dealing with problem solving, the first thing that you need to do is you need to understand the problem. Now, once you understand the problem, class, you can write down the given for you to be guided. All right, so let's write down the given. Alright, so we have given base edge, so this will be our base side. So base edge or the side is equal to 20 centimeter. And then we have given height, that is 8 centimeters. And then we can illustrate this for better understanding. We can illustrate this one. So we have given square pyramid. Alright, so let's illustrate this one. You draw a square. Once again, class, we have base edge, so this will be our base side, the side of the base of this given square base. So this side is 20 centimeters. So therefore, class, this is also 20 centimeters, this is 20 centimeters, this is 20 centimeters, because we have a square base. And we have given height, that is 8 centimeters. So the height from the apex to the center part of the base, so this one right here, this is the height. And we have given height, that is 8 centimeters. So once again, class, you can illustrate this for better understanding. So we have given side, base side or base edge, that is 20 centimeter. And then we have given height. So therefore, we need to use the second formula, base side and then the height. Alright, so let's use the second formula. Let's substitute the volume. So the volume is equal to one third. So our base edge or base side, that is 20 centimeters. So 20 centimeter. Then do not forget the squared. And then the height is 8 centimeters. Alright, so once again, class, you simplify this one first before you multiply it by 8. You always follow PEMDAS class. You still remember class, PEMDAS. Parenthesis, exponents comes first before multiplication. So parenthesis, exponents comes first. Alright, so we simplify this one first. So copy, the volume is equal to one-third. Copy one-third. Then 20 times 20. Once again, that's 20 squared. It doesn't mean 20 times 2. It means 20 times 20. And 20 times 20, that would be 400. So 400. And then centimeters times centimeters, that would be centimeters squared. Once again, that's, do not be confused. Centimeters times centimeters Centimeters times centimeters, understood they have the same base, copy the base, then understood there's one here for the exponent. If they have the same base, copy the units or copy the base, then add the exponent. 1 plus 1, that is 2. So that's why we have centimeters squared. Alright, and then multiplied by 8 centimeters. Alright, so we can put over 1 here for us not to be confused. We can put over 1, that's okay. Understood that any number, there is a denominator of 1. So simply multiply the numerators 1 times 400 times 8. So you can use your calculator. We can actually ignore 1 plus because 1 times 400, the answer is still 400. So we just simply multiply 400 and then 8. Once again, plus you can ignore 1 because 1 times 400, the answer is still 400. So we just simply multiply 400 and then 8. So 400 times 8, that would be 3,200. Then centimeter squared multiplied by centimeter. 
So if they have the same base, copy the base, and then add the exponent. Understood that there's one here. So that would be cubic centimeter. That would be centimeter raised to the power of 3. Because you need to add the exponent. 2 plus 1, that is 3. Alright, so centimeter squared multiplied by centimeter, that would be cubic centimeters. And then 3 times 1, that's 3, times 1, that's 3. So simply copy 3. And then simply divide, and then you're all set. So 3,200 divided by 3. The answer, the volume, is equal to 1,066.666. So once again, test, we have 1,000... 1,066.666, so we can round up. So after 6, that is 6, so we can round up. Once again, plus after 6, that is 6, so we can round up. So this 6 becomes 7. Alright, so this will be 1,066.67. Do not forget the units, cubic centimeters. That's it, plus that's the answer for number 1. All set. For example, number 1. Easy as that, plus. Alright, so let's have another example class, example number 2. Alright, so let's work on example number 2. Margie bought a small stone in the shape of a square pyramid as a souvenir. This has a height of 2 inches and a base area of 2.25 square inches. Determine the volume of the stone. Once again class, first step, you write down the given for you to be guided. Alright, so we have given height 2 inches, so the height that would be 2 inches. And then a base area of 2.25 square inches. So base area, that would be 2.25 square inches. Alright, and then next step plus, we can illustrate this one for better understanding. So let's draw a square. Alright, so first thing to do, you draw a square. And then you draw this line. Alright, so you draw this line. So once again, class, we have given height, that would be 2 inches. So from the apex to the center part of the base. So this will be our height. So we have given height. So height, that is 2 inches. And then we have given base area. So therefore, the area of the square. So the area of the base. So we have a square base. So therefore, the area of this base, that would be... 2.25 square inches. This one right here, class, this square. So this will be our base, and we have given area. Alright, so the area of this square, so the area, this will be area of the base, that would be 2.25 square inches. So therefore, we need to use the first formula because we have given area of the base, and then we have given height. Alright, so let's use the first formula. Let me copy again the formula. Volume of square per meat is equal to one-third area of the base times height. So the volume is equal to one-third. So once again, our area of the base, that would be 2.25. So 2.25 square inches. And then multiplied by the height, that is 2 inches. Alright, and then we can put over 1 here for our denominator for us not to be confused. That's understood that any number, there is a denominator of 1. So that we can just simply multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. So the volume is equal to, alright, and then simply multiply this 1. 1 times 2.25 times 2. So 1 times 2.25 times 2. The answer is 4.5. And then square inches times inches, so square inches times inches. Once again, they have the same base, copy inches, and then add exponent. And so that there's one here, 2 plus 1, that's 3. So therefore, that would be cubic inches. Alright, and then the denominators, 3 times 1 times 3, the answer is still 3. 3 times 1, that's 3, times 1, that, that is 3. So simply copy 3. And then divide 4.5 divided by 3, and the volume is equal to 1.5. Then do not forget the units. Cubic inches. That's it plus O set. For example, number 2. So therefore, the volume of the stone, that would be 1.5 cubic inches. O set. For example, number 2. Alright, so let's have last example class. Example number 3. Alright, so we're down to the last example class. Example number 3. 
Sarah is constructing a case in the shape of a square pyramid for a project. She wants the base of a pyramid to measure 6 inches by 6 inches and height of the pyramid to be 15 inches. How many cubic inches could the pyramid hold? So once again, class, first thing to do is we need to write down the given. So we have given 6 inches by 6 inches, therefore we have given base side. So once again, class, base side that would be 6 inches. So the side that would be 6 inches. Alright, and then we have given height, height of the pyramid that would be 15 inches. Alright, so once again, because we can draw the illustration for better understanding. So let's draw a square. Alright, and then we can draw this one. So once, once again, we have given base of the pyramid measure 6 inches by 6 inches. So the base side, if this is 6 inches, this is also 6 inches here. And then another 6 inches, then 6 inches. That would be 6 inches by 6 inches. And then we have given height, that would be 15 inches. So the height, this one right here. Alright, so our height, that would be 15 inches. 15 inches. Alright, so therefore, we will be using the second formula because we have given base side and then we have given height. That would be 15 inches. Alright, so use the second formula. Volume is equal to one third. So our given base side, that would be 6 inches. So 6 inches. And then do not forget squared times our height, that would be 15 inches. Alright, so once again, simplify this one first before you multiply it by 15. So 6 inches then squared, so volume is equal to 1 third. So 6 times 6, that would be 36. So once again, because it doesn't mean 6 times 2, it means 6 times 6. So 6 times 6, that would be 36. And then inches times inches, that would be square inches. Inches squared. And then times 15 inches. Alright, and then we can put denominator of 1, that's okay. Understood that any number, there is a denominator of 1. So the volume is equal to, so once again, multiply this 1, multiply the numerators, and then multiply the denominator. So we can ignore 1 because 1 times 36, the answer is still 36. So let's just simply multiply 36 times 15. So 36 times 15 the answer is 540, and then square inches times inches, that would be cubic inches. Over 3 times 1, that's 3, times 1, that's 3, divided by 3. So simply copy 3, the denominator 3. And then simply divide 540, divided by 3, and the volume, that would be 180 cubic inches. Alright, so how many cubic inches could the pyramid hold? The answer is 180 cubic inches. That's it, plus. That's the answer for example number 3. Alright, so once again, I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.